Hello everyone. So today let us take a look at this question uh, on the community about uh, reports reports based on SLA charts in uh, Jira service management. Now the question is that we have just started using uh, and learning Jira service management and uh, I want to understand uh, how we can create reports based on SLAs like uh, SLA status pie chart, SLA met versus breached um uh, per assignee kind of reports now i thought i'll probably make a video on this particular topic because this is of course possible but it may not be very obvious so if you look at your uh, dashboard in jira and uh, if you try to look for some gadgets so there are some gadgets that will actually show you some information about uh, your uh, jira service management uh, sls so if you look at your uh, Jira service management. First of all, always try to search for the uh, report that you're trying to generate. So use the search option. So there is nothing called SLA, but we do have something called as Jira service management. So we do have a couple of gadgets. Let us add them and let us see what we can do with these gadgets. So the first one is filter count. So I'll probably select here uh, the project name, which is uh, uh, service desk, maybe service task and uh, this is actually going to give you some SLAs right and by the way you can uh, click on the advance and it will give you further uh, so it, it, it will basically give you these uh, filters so basically you have the option to narrow it down further so let us say if we have to let us say work on uh, one I'm trying to look for one uh, of the SLA here, which is a breached time to resolution, maybe at risk time to resolution, something like this. So this basically it will give you some count, which is uh, which is one way of doing it. And as I mentioned before, you can further narrow it down to I guess a filter because there is an option here. If I configure it and if I um, use a saved filter it should actually give us uh, the option. So this is one way of doing it. Now, um, the other other thing that you can do is, uh, let, it, let me save it. We can also take a look at this, uh, where is the other one, which I wanted to show you, which is uh, not the pie chart, because in the pie chart, we might not have uh, what we are looking for. So the other one is actually this one, the um, service desk based, uh, gadget now here you can select uh, the reports like sla met versus uh, breached or sla success rate so if you select something like sla met versus breached it will give you the same uh, line graph that you can anyway see when you're working in your uh, jira service desk now if you go to your jira service desk you do have these reports for example if i go back to my project and if i click on the report so you, you do have these uh, sla met versus breached report and and something similar uh, which can of course give you an idea but you can also configure this further so right now we have access to two series met and breached what you can also do you can also add uh, one more series a couple of more series by editing the report and then add a series then you can select uh, how you want uh, to narrow down the information for example you want uh, uh, only your SLAs that you probably met or breached and uh, you can then of course i'm using the series on top which is let us say time to res time to resolution met or breach whatever whatever you're interested in you can select a nice color maybe green one and uh, here you can select assignee is uh, equal to current user and if you add this uh, series it will of course give you one more series here so this is of course just for that particular user so you can uh and, and of course you have the number here so this will also work but to be honest uh, uh if you're looking for a bit more detailed reports maybe you want to create some customized pie charts then my recommendation would be to use uh, easybi and if you are looking at easybi you should definitely have access to something which is uh, related to EZBI based uh, reports uh, and when you're using EZBI you have uh, 
lot of these uh, l- l- lot of these reports inbuilt sample not really inbuilt but yeah sample reports that will actually give you um that will actually give you an idea about uh, time to resolution met time to resolution breached and so on of course we are right now looking at one empty report but uh, when you have of course data coming from your jira service management management project you can actually add a filter on top for the assignee and uh, you can also create maybe your own uh, pie chart uh, I, and i think it is a good topic for me um i'll probably create uh, more videos on this particular topic where i will cover uh, easy bi how to use e- how to use easy bi for creating uh, jira service management based reports but i thought i'll probably answer this question because uh, yes you can do that if you want to create sla based reports and you want to also do it for a specific assignee for example it is a possibility i mean not just a possibility it is definitely possible with native reports and also using easy bi and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye